Okay, cool. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us for this workshop. I am so, so excited about this. I think Helena and I started talking about this a while ago, like about a month ago. Um, and I'm been, this has been on our mind for a long time. So I'm really excited to have Helena be leading this. Uh, I'm sure all of you kind of saw this from TikTok. You've seen her work. She is so, so Hi. talented. I love her style. And I'm honored to have her be doing this presentation for us. So I'm just going to pass it off to you, Helena. And like I mentioned earlier, we will be taking questions at the end. So if you could just hold on to any questions, we'll leave some time and you'll be able to put them in the chat or come off mute or whatever. Um, but until then, just hang tight as Lena has this amazing presentation for us. Okay, thank you for the for the intro. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this poster design workshop. First of all, I would like to thank you, Sophie and the Luna Collective for giving me this opportunity. I'm super excited. And I hope you'll find this workshop interesting, or at least uh, uh, helpful, I don't know. Okay, so uh, let me introduce myself. Oh, I can. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm Elena. I'm a graphic designer from Italy. I graduated in uh, uh, graphic design and visual communication at Politecnico di Torino. Many of you don't know this university, but it's okay, it's in Italy. I have um, four years of work experience and I worked uh, in uh, two, dif two different design studios here in Italy, but since July I've been uh, freelancing in uh, branding, illustration, social media and a bit of everything else really and i've started my tiktok account um i don't know if some of you already know me from there and follow me on there but i share my works and graphic design tips um i so uh <laughs> my biggest passion is poster design and it's what got me into graphic design in, in the first place and now i'm gonna show you why it's so important for me Okay, uh, I don't really get how <laughs> I should. Okay, um, why poster design? So it's so important because uh, it's a great way to unleash your creativity and have some fun. Basically, it's just an opportunity to improve your, your skills and experiment with your style. And you can also relieve the stress that comes with um, client-based work. And we all know that it can be so stressful. It's so tiring and a graphic design poster is a process that lets you showcase your artistic abilities and express your ideas visually. Before we dive in, um, I want to let you know that this isn't a technical course. It's, it's not like I'm going to uh, show you how to learn uh, Illustrator or Photoshop. It's just a, like a mindful guide on how to collect ideas and find inspiration uh, for, for poster design at any stage of your uh, design career or process, whether you're a beginner or an expert. And it's just a little guide. So let's begin with the step-by-step -step guide. So the first step is to choose your subjects, so one or more. It's up to you and it's easier than you think because um, it can be literally anything. It could be a song or an artist, like, like you see these um, poster examples. Uh, it could be a movie poster about animals, even chair posters, place you visited or you want to visit people, <laughs> everything that you want to uh, portray in your poster design. If you're struggling to come up with new ideas you can try prompt generators like um, ai prompt generators uh, two examples are art ideas generators and, and uh, random word generators they basically give you a, a sentence or a word and you can find inspiration with this uh, with this method but i think uh, it, uh, it's really important to um, draw inspiration from your personal experiences, from your traditions, your own culture, and the stuff you like. Uh, it makes your work way more engaging and invaluable, both for you and your audience. For example, these are some of my posters. Uh, the first one, Estate Italiana, reminds me all of, of all the summers I've had since I was a baby. So good food, um, sea, and uh, a lot of sun in the Italian heat. The second one, Mare Luna, is about a, a Pino Daniele uh, song. It's an Italian artist. I love them. Go check, go check it out uh, as soon as I stop talking. Um, the third one 
it's about uh, traditional food. Uh, it's a, a typical dish, uh, South Italy dish, riso, patate, cozze. In, Itali in Italian, it's basically rice, potatoes, and mussels. And uh, the, the last one, it's basically a postcard from my mom's hometown, Monopoly. And, you know, my sister took that picture of the old man sunbathing at the port. And we just, why not doing a poster about it? So um, the, the second step, you can uh, pick a style or create your own by mixing it up uh, uh, what you like. And you should choose a style that suits your uh, subject. This one are mm, just few of many, many, many styles that exist. For example, uh, the Swiss school posters are characterized by clean lines, grid systems, and minimalist layouts, and emphasize uh, clarity in a hierarchy. Brutalist poster design is uh, um, it has a uh, big, big, big uh, fonts, uh, modern fonts, um, futuristic visuals like emojis, futuristic images, and star color palettes and striking images. The, the vintage ADV posters, like the Apple posters, Nike old posters, uh, you can find it all over Pinterest and um, draw, uh, draw the aesthetics from uh, like. Um, <laughs> It's like uh, they, they try to, to use classic typography, muted color, and a nostalgic imagery. The psychedelic poster, this, I love that band. It's like a, a, a 17, 80 rock band. And they use vibrant colors, intricate patterns, and distorted typography to define like um, that surreal and mind-altering mind experience um, that was really, really common in the 60s. Uh, the Y2K posters are really common in in this um, in this period. You can find it all over Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. This is one is, is by Bottega Veneta. Um, they embrace a digital nostalgia. They blend bold futurism with like glitching aesthetics, capturing the spirits of the early 2000s. While the punk punk posters are raw, rebellious, uh, often DIY, and uses bold graphics uh, and drawn elements and gritty aesthetic, really to convey this sense of um, anarchic energy. The element that defines all these posters are uh, basically colors, typography, layout and grids, and visuals, so images and illustration. Colors not only establish um, the, the visual identity, but also evokes emotion and communicates the intended messages. You can find um, super nice color palettes on colors with two O's. <laughs> and uh, I suggest you to read this book, A Dictionary of, of Color Combinations. You can find it on Amazon. It's so tiny, it's super cute. The second category is typography. Um, is fundamental because the right font size and the arrangement of the fonts in the page enhance readability, reinforce the theme, and contribute to the overall visual appear of your poster. You can find you can find uh, font pairings and font examples on fonts in use. I really suggest to use the site like a, a bible, basically. Grids and layouts um, ensure an harmonious and organized visual system. They, they create hierarchy and they guide the, uh, the viewer's eye through the informations of your poster seamlessly and create a balanced composition. Uh, also, uh, another recommendation, grid systems in graphic design. It's a great book about grids. It is, it contains everything that you can that you could ever imagine about grids. Then the visuals, images, and illustrations um, are the visual anchors that breathe life into a poster. They convey the essence of the message. And of course, if you possess illustration skills, use your art. The same concept applies to photographers and any other skill. Just use what in your poster, what you like to do and what, what you know to do to just make your poster your, your own and uh, uh, your personal project. The third step is choosing a poster design method. There are typography, 3D art, photography, illustration, and so many more. Uh, 
um, of course, don't be afraid to experiment in this step. I've seen a TikTok creator like uh, designing a poster by scanning an egg with a printer. And I, I don't remember his name, but it was so cool. So don't be afraid of exp experiment. Use unconventional techniques and everything is, uh, is possible, basically. So typography posters focus primarily on the art of letter forms uh, using creative fonts, uh, layouts and arrangements of the font to convey a message. And 3D art, this poster is by my boyfriend, by the way, this the 3D art <laughs> poster. Um, leverage three-dimensional graphics and effects to create depth, realism and uh, visual engaging experience. Photography posters uh, showcase like uh, the power of visual storytelling. They usually use uh, small, um, small and short text to convey the message. Illustration posters uh, bring concepts to life through hand-drawn or digitally hand-drawn artworks, and they offer a unique perspective of the author uh, thought of process and. Uh, ideas and themes and the interpretation is so uh, so various of an illustration poster. College posters combine disparate elements like uh, images, textures, text to create a visually rich and layered composition. So there are so, so many techniques for poster design you should just find your own and uh, try, try what, what you like basically. The first step is mixing all the ingredients together and you have your first poster design. Um, of course, as I said, this was not a, a technical guide, but it's so important to find the right inspiration. And uh, don't, don't worry if you suck at first uh, at your poster design. It's all part of the process. Um, I, I personally love to look at my old poster design and uh, hating them, literally. I, I cringe so much when I look at them, but it's a great way to notice uh, the, the progress you've made in, in the years. And so uh, if you're interested in knowing all the uh, poster designers that I, I've used in this presentation, uh, I put the credits here. Uh, maybe uh, I should upload uh, the presentation to my website, website so you can download it. If you have any questions, we can answer it right now. Yay. Thank you so much. That was amazing. You really covered a lot in a very like high level way by still like letting us dive in. I, Thank you I, so personally, much. Like, I just love your style. I'm sure everyone hears because of that as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, but I like how you really touched on like, it's such a range, you know, and like, I feel like finding the inspiration, like I loved how you talked about looking back, it's always like fun to see what you used to make and kind of cringe, but that's like part of the creative process, you know? I hate my old posters. Like I don't want to look at them. That's how you know you've grown though. And like, that must be yeah. like a cool feeling as well. Um, so we're going to open this up to questions. Feel free to put any in the chat and I can read them aloud or raise your hand and I can call on you. Um, I'm actually going to start off with a question that I have just because it kind of came up naturally in this presentation. How have you seen your style evolve since you first started designing? At first, I just uh, followed trends that I found on Pinterest, but now I think I, I have a more uh, personal style. Uh, I, I've developed my skills in illustration, so I, I do a lot of illustration works. Um, but before I just copied what, what I liked on the internet and just do a poster about it, but now I, I prefer to... Uh, you know, try try to uh, experiment with my, my own personal culture. Like, uh, I, as, as I was saying before, trying uh, typical Italian dishes, uh, recipe, stuff like that, but put it in a poster, basically. So cool. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, we have Nick. I'm letting you unmute. Let me know if that works. Hey, yeah, thank you so much for, uh, that was a great Hi. presentation. Hi. How's, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Um, great presentation, and thank you for uh, for breaking it all down. It was so helpful. I've been doing a similar thing, but one thing I'm running into, uh, or that I'm just curious about, I think a lot about is in terms of knowing, uh, like kind of knowing what's out there and knowing like the buckets and the ways like you just broke down different types of typography, like styles. But I guess, like, um, 
you know, using those references and using those buckets to be helpful for organizing like your thought and how you go about design, but then also uh, try not to be constrained by them and to try and keep adding yeah. to yeah, like yeah. what's already been done and not be like conformed um, by like styles or like by the past. How do you, how do you, um, I guess, balance that? But I think it's really important to not like just, uh, for example, I, I've seen a Swiss poster and copy that and, and stop there. I think we should uh, use more references and mix the, mix them up. Mm -hmm. I think th that's the way. Uh, for example, for my thesis project uh, at university, I just uh, pick a bunch of references from all over Pinterest or other website, put it together, and and so you create like that your own style. Um, I think yeah. it, that's so simple. Just not not use one style, but everything that you like and put it all over your your artboard <laughs> on Illustrator. That's great. Yeah, I've heard similar stuff with like a like a magpie nest where they they bring a lot of stuff together to kind of make something. So yeah. awesome. uh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. No worries. By the way, sorry for my accent. I think it's so strong my Italian accent, but I can help it. You're great, and thank you, Nick. That was a great question as well. Uh, next we have Jade, and this is kind of a similar question to Eden as well. Is there a certain program you recommend for beginners to use when first delving into poster design? Maybe like softwares that are beginner friendly. Well, of course, Illustrator is is not that difficult to use. Um, or maybe Canva, Canva, it's easier. I ne I've never used it because when I started in my university course, we we just used Illustrator, but mm, that's the program that I use. Um, I think that uh, Domestica has really great uh, poster design courses or graphic design courses where you can just learn uh, in a few hours the program or just follow TikTok creators that post Adobe Illustrator tips uh, and stuff like that. Awesome. Yeah, I have found like the world of uh, tutorials on TikTok to be so yeah. insane. It's yeah. like really helpful. And it's a nice mixture of maybe I'm inspired by what I see, but I end up creating something totally different. They can walk me mm. through it and I'll still make something you wouldn't know that I followed that tutorial essentially. Exactly. <laughs> before awesome. before discovering TikToks, I, I just spent so much money on online courses, but now you can just type um, Adobe Illustrator tutorial on, in, on TikTok and just find a lot of tutorials. Definitely, definitely. Well, I guess since we're on the TikTok uh, conversation, how has this platform, how has TikTok as a whole helped with you, helped with your career? Are you getting gigs through TikTok or is it just a lot for you? I, I didn't expect that, but uh, I, I started TikTok in uh, um, about August, I think. So not really a long ago, but um, it's like uh, it, it grows so fast. And I, um, I found uh, two or three big clients thanks to TikTok. And this is so amazing. I, I, I will never expect that. And people are so nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know how to say it. Um, I, I thought that um, I, I would receive a lot of hate comments, like your work sucks. But <laughs> they were so, oh, every, everyone was so nice. Your work is amazing. <laughs> Thank I you. I like this question. What is the art form that you draw inspiration from the most? Paint, photography, music, et cetera. I think music. Mm, it's like my main uh, my main inspiration. I like listen to an Italian song and then made a poster, make a poster about it. It's, it's like so easy to me. It's like, mm, almost automatic. Uh, while I listen to the song, the, the images come, the illustrations come to my mind. It's super fun. Awesome. Here we got another one. Have you ever found yourself unable to create art or feeling stuck in your creative process? Great question, Macy uh yeah <laughs> uh a lot of times re really a lot of times usually when I, when i feel so stuck that i can uh that i can think of anything i just put my playlist on uh, go take a walk talk to some friends go out and don't think about it at all uh, at all and when i come home i just 
feel a bit better and start to think <laughs> what should I design next uh, stuff like that just uh, maybe I'll do some research and just not open the Illustrator artboard and feel stuck with the, the white screen. This, that is the worst, uh, the worst option. Yeah, definitely. Just like totally removing yourself, just like your mind mm. needs a break yeah. <laughs> sometimes. Exactly. Um, on the career front then, outside of TikTok, where are any, do you have any platforms or websites you recommend for finding freelance opportunities? Well, um, I've not really even started to look at uh, opportunities yet because I just started out and I, I'm not really an uh, um, economic job. I, I don't know how, to, in America, how, to work, how this works in America, but here in Italy, you need partita IVA to work um, with clients. And I don't really open it that. And I'm, I'm just doing what comes. And yeah. In the um, starting of the next year in January, I will set this, um, uh, you know, an official st studio and start to work and start to search client uh, ac actively. <laughs> if you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's so cool. That's really cool. Well, let us know, you guys, if you have any more questions. I have one question to wrap us up, but I just want to make sure um, that I don't miss anything. Also, of course, you see her email is up there. Um, yeah. Totally feel free to reach out, but I'm going to do our final question then. And you started to tease a little bit. Just what do you have coming up the upcoming months? It sounds like you're opening up your own like studio, like creative studio. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I'm just um, I'm just about to launch my website. Um, there is the uh, there is already the website on my presentation, but it's not complete. But if you want to look up just for reference, or if you want to look up portfolio for for inspiration, there's my portfolio website. Um, I have a coll co collaboration ongoing with a uh, type department. Um, they send me their free fonts. They they send me their fonts for free, and I just made posters and I I've used some of their fonts for this presentation, and. Soon I will be opening my own studio, one person studio in the uh, following months. But it, it's just an exciting period because I've always worked with uh, studios and like um, a, an employee, but now I'm I'm on my own and it's so scary, but also so exciting. Oh, that's huge. Congratulations. That's like, yeah, thank you. I've, yeah scary, but also amazing. You're going to feel yeah. just incredible when it all comes together. Um, so we have one last question from Autumn. This will be our last question. Um, and then we'll wrap up. Is there any specific resource you can recommend for learning about different poster styles? Um, uh, of course, Pinterest is like many, many designers, senior designers hate on Pinterest. But if you know how to, um, how to find the, the right stuff, um, it's so useful. And of course, um, graphic designer, graphic design history books uh, just type on, type on amazon graphic design history book and there are a lot of them and do the your research is so important to learn uh, to learn history of uh, of what you what you do like wherever is photography illustration history is the most important part and stuff like that maybe uh fonts in use is so useful to find inspiration it's not like a history type of site but in or oh, um it's not like uh informative in that sense but you can find useful resources for your um creative uh, process yeah great question and great answer yeah <laughs> thank you Thank you so much for your time on this and putting this together and sharing so much information. Like I so appreciate creatives that are just wanting to share everything they've learned. Like you gave us <laughs> all the tips, everything. So thank you so, so much. Um, everyone, please, please, please support anyone. Feel free. If you are also a graphic designer, if you want to reply um, with your Instagram or your website or anything like that, love this yeah, for yeah. to be an opportunity for everyone to connect. Uh, this will be on our YouTube as well. If you want to go back and look at any of this, um, but yeah, thank you everyone for coming out. I know we got a range of time zones here. So whether it's the beginning of your day, end of your day, uh, thank you all so much for taking the time to get this together. And yeah, we do virtual workshops like this all the time. So if there are any topics you ever want to see, 
um slide in Luna's DMs. I'm I'm always down for options. And yeah, keep us posted on like everything that's coming the upcoming months for you. It's huge. <laughs> Thank you so much for <laughs> hosting these. Thank you. Of Thank course. you. Of course. My pleasure. Well I hope everyone has a great rest of your weekend. Bye. Yeah. Bye.